I first read Wuthering Heights when I was about 14 and I came to love this book right from the start. Right from my first reading, I was overcome with this idea that Kathy and Heathcliff's love story was the greatest love story of all time. And when you think about it, the reason that people most value love is because they seek permanence. They look for this one thing that would never change among all these ever-changing life circumstances. A firm ground to stand on in the midst of the storm. And Wuthering Heights featured that sort of love. Kathy's feelings toward Heathcliff haunted him long after her death. And his plot to revenge his hurts spanned over two generations. In this way, their love was really stronger than death. And we tend to think that this is the mark of a true love. Its ability to defy our constant affliction of being subject to decline and death. Ever since I first read Wuthering Heights and continuously after that, I dubbed it my favorite book of all time. I developed this notion that Kathy and Heathcliff's love was the greatest example of true love. It was tempestuous, wild, and passionate, and its intensity inevitably led to insanity. But I thought that was a sure sign of its reality. Kind of in the line of thinking that if it hurts, it's right. That kind of crazy love became an ideal for me. Men who, like Heathcliff, loved passionately, senselessly, often mistreating women, became an ideal for me. Now fast forward to 2015. I'm 22, I've gone through my fair share of the Tempest of Adolescence, and I'm rereading Wuthering Heights for the first time in about five years. It's not the book I remembered it to be. Instead of the purest form of love, I get the purest form of hatred. What used to seem to me like romantic devotion now looks a lot more like abject selfishness. I now see that it doesn't necessarily have to be love that lasts through generations. It can also be hatred. Because I don't think love can ever be as vengeful as Heathcliff's. His passions do not bring him peace. Instead, they bring destruction, disruption of families, torment. And my outlook on love in 2015 is that love has always to bring peace. Maybe not always directly. But ultimately, if love is imbued with eternity, how can it be tormentful? This, I realize, is highly connected with one's view of the universe. If you view it as chaos and disruption, you understand eternity differently from somebody who views it as peace and harmony. We might sometimes like the thrill, but I don't think anybody willingly seeks torment. Would that justify my idea that love always brings peace? I don't know. But this is my current reading of the novel. And in that light, Wuthering Heights is the very opposite of love. At 14, I thought this was the greatest love story of all time. At 22, I think this is the greatest hate story of all time. Don't get me wrong, I still love this book. I just, I, I don't love the love in it. I wonder if I articulated it correctly, so let me know if that made any sense to you whatsoever. And I think this shift in perception of reading a book um, after some time is very interesting. So let me know, is there any book that you have read multiple times that your perception of has changed completely? Um, I would like to know that because I, I thought this was really amazing, um, the way my thinking about a novel changed because um, I grew up. Let me know and I will talk to you soon. Bye.